हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ पैथोलॉजी वी आर डूइंग दिस फ्रॉम मीडियम रॉबिंस जेनेटिक्स का हम चैप्टर कर रहे हैं एंड वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइसोसोमल स्टोरेज डिजीजेस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम नाउ एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अनदर स्टोरेज प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज द ग्लाइकोजन स्टोरेज प्रॉब्लम नाउ एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स दिस इज द ग्लाइकोजन स्टोरेज डिजीज सो व्हाट विल बेसिकली हैपन द जनरल आइडिया वुड बी and it's important to understand the general idea because if you have the general idea sorted then you can you know jo uh, jigsaw ke pieces hote hain na unko aap settle kar sakte hain so in our body we have glycogen and then glycogen is metabolized into uh, obviously various products but glucose perhaps at the end and uh, there are different uh, steps jisme different enzymes honge is glycogen ke breakdown ke liye now ho sakta hai ki pehla hi enzyme missing ho cell ke andar हो सकता है थोड़ा ये मेटाबलाइज हो जाए पहला स्टेप इज ओके बट देन द सेकंड एंजाइम इज मिसिंग और द थर्ड एंजाइम इज मिसिंग सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन व्हिच एंजाइम इज मिसिंग द लेवल ऑफ द ग्लाइकोजन और ग्लाइकोजन प्रोडक्ट्स विल इंक्रीज इन द बॉडी एंड दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल ग्लाइकोजिनोसिस या ग्लाइकोजन स्टोरेज डिजीज ओके इट इज एन इनहेरिट डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ एनी वन ऑफ द एंजाइम्स इन्वॉल्व्ड इन ग्लाइकोजन सिंथेसिस और डेग्रेडेशन कैन रिजल्ट इन एक्सेसिव अक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ आइदर ग्लाइकोजन और यू नो सम प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन एज आई टोल्ड यू इन दिस जनरल आइडिया the type of glycogen stored is intracellular location and the tissue distribution of yani it depend karta so uh, in some diseases liver is the primary organ which is affected in some diseases muscle is the primary organ which is affected and then therefore the symptoms will be different so for example if uh, liver is affected there will be hepatomegaly and liver signs and symptoms if muscles are affected muscle cramps and signs and symptoms associated with muscle right now regardless of the tissue of cells affected the glycogen most often is stored within the cytoplasm that's an important point so the glycogen accumulates within the cytoplasm however there are some exceptions so for example in pompe's disease what happens ki jo glycogen ki degradation ka enzyme hota hai that is actually present uh, the enzyme which is missing is actually present in the lysosome so the glycogen hai wo lysosome ke andar jama ho jata hai right uh, that's one exception pompe's disease otherwise in most of the disorders it's the cytoplasm where the glycogen is stored okay and that's a high high yield point most glycogenoses are inherited as autosomal recessive disorders and uh, uh, this is an important distinction to be made here approximately a dozen forms of glycogenoses have been identified but primarily aapko jo basic wo is chart mein di hui hai wo pata honi chahiye there is a myopathic form as the name indicates the muscles will be involved uh, striated muscles contain a lot of glycogen and they actually use it for the source of energy and not surprisingly most forms of glycogen storage diseases therefore affect muscles right when enzymes that are involved in glycolysis are deficient glycogen storage occurs in muscles and there is an associated muscle weakness due to impaired energy production typically myopathic forms of glycogen storage diseases are marked by muscle cramps obviously under- understandable muscles may issue ana myoglobin urea and failure of exercise to induce an elevation in blood lactate levels because of block of glycolysis so the whole glucose metabolism here is basically disturbed okay you know, we have a cascade of events ek molecule se dusra molecule dusre se teesra ye idhar shunt ho ke ye bana raha hai ye idhar shunt ho ke ye bana raha hai this is how the body works ab isme koi ek cheez agar disturb hoti hai the whole cascade not only the glycogen breakdown but also the glycolytic steps are disturbed okay and uh, there is a particular disorder called mcardle disease which is also called type 5 glycogenosis resulting from deficiency of muscle phosphorylase which is the prototype for myopathic glycogenosis so iska yahan pe zikr bhi kiya hai is table mein uh, the myopathic form of glycogen storage disease called the mcardle disease also type 5 glycogenosis um, the enzyme which is deficient is the muscle phosphorylase skeletal muscles are affected and there is a accumulation accumulation of glycogen we understand this um and uh, particularly in an area which is subsarcolemal which means also in the cytoplasm there will be cramps myoglobin urea wear and tear of the muscle and this coming out in the urine and muscular exercise in logo ko gym mein jayenge to masla hai because uh, um, you know the compatibility of the glycolysis is also disturbed okay but the disease is comparable with uh, longevity so these patients don't really actually die in their childhood okay so that's the myopathic form right 
um, then there is another category which is uh, uh, important to note is the type 2 glycogenosis also called pompous disease I told you the enzyme deficient here is in the lysosome and therefore it is technically a lysosomal storage disease but what is stored in the lysosome it's the glycogen okay but this is very lethal and many patients die within the two years of the onset of the cardio respiratory failure Therapy with a missing enzyme, which is glucosidase, can actually reverse the cardiac issue, but again, um, this is not accessible all the time, right? And uh, then this table, uh, one we already discussed, the hepatic type. So hepatic type obviously is going to affect the liver. And um, there is a specific disease which you have to remember is the von Gehrke disease, type 1, which involves not only uh, kidney, but there is a hepatorenal involvement. The enzyme which is deficient here is glucose 6-phosphatase, hepatomegaly, because it involves liver. Also, renomegaly, because I told you this is hepatorenal uh, type of stuff. Dono disease may there is intracytoplasmic accumulation of glycogen. Intracytoplasmic accumulation of glycogen. Okay. Clinically, if you don't treat it, failure to thrive, stunt and growth, hepatomegaly, renomegaly. Hypoglycemia, because obviously glycogen is not being broken down, right? So you are not going to get glucose at the end of the metabolic pathway. Hyperlipidemia and hyperuricemia, they basically result from deranged glucose metabolism. Many patients develop gout and skin xanthomas because of increased uric acid and lipid levels. Bleeding tendency, because liver is not working, so uh, bleeding disorder, bleeding diathesis, and with treatment it can improve. So providing continuous source of glucose so that they don't develop hypoglycemia and uh, try to prevent late complications. So um, this is all which you must know as far as the glycogen storage diseases are concerned. I know it's a little dry topic, but sometimes important for your examination purposes. Okay, so that's all for today's video. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Take care of yourself.